Good. Okay. Okay, now keep the tension on it, reel it in, all right? <laughs> Dude, check out my steaks levitating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, bro. Just practicing on the vintage fishing rod my grandpa sent me. Here you go. Good afternoon, children. <laughs> not, not Nigel. You're um, something different about you. Did you lose weight? Did you? Huh? In my new kitchen workout series, <laughs> Shake While You Bake. <laughs> well, whatever it is, you look fabulous. Well, I guess. You children are more perceptive than I give you credit for. Good day. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Hey guys, check it out man. I can't I can't wait to get to Chile because you know it's the birthplace of Chile. I think Chile's gonna be incredible, actually. I can't wait to get close to Pablo Neruda. What? Now I can't even believe this. We we broke it up for a couple weeks now and you're already ready to cozy up with new cats. Sean, Pablo Neruda is Chile's Nobel Prize winning poet. He died in 1973. Gosh, don't be so jealous. I'm not jealous, but <laughs> I want her follow. Okay. Oh. Buenos dias, welcome. Bienvenido. Welcome to all things Chilean. Don't be scared by the penguin or chinchilla. They, they are two of Chile's most common animals and a wonderful marketing tool. It's okay when they're already inside, huh? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Please, come, have a look. Hey, are those Juarez flies? Yes, sir, handcrafted by Chile's Julio Juarez, an international fly tying master. Last month's Fly Fishing Magazine did a huge article on these on the centerfold of my wall. <laughs> A uh, fly fishing centerfold? Yeah. I'm not gonna touch that one. Okay, well, there's no way I'm leaving Chile without a set of these. Um, how much? Uh, approximately 200 American dollars. Cool. Guess I am living without them. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me about this? It's beautiful. Oh, this is a picture of me on vacation in Puerto Vallarta. It's not for sale. I just put how about it in. This stunning little box. Oh, these. This is a jewelry display case, a very popular model. In fact, Miss Chili bought one for me last week to store her tiara. I'll take one. I have a tiara, too. Oh, and we'll take some of those little fly thingies, too. Thanks, Ash. That's so sweet of you. I hardly know what to say. <laughs> well, don't say anything. Just remember this on my birthday. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid this card has been declined. I'll try this one then. I never leave home without it. <laughs> well, you shoot me, because this one doesn't work either. I don't have any other cards. This cannot be happening. Uh, hey, Ash, why don't we go check out Plaza de Armas? It won't cost us anything. But what about the display case and the supplies you wanted? Oh, uh, it's okay. I'll just get them the next time I'm in Chile. <laughs> Let's go. Adios, amigo. Oh, buddy. You mind? <laughs> Bienvenidos, amigo. Wait a second. Wait, wait. What do you mean you don't have chili? You can't. That's the name of your country, man. I mean, come on. It's false advertising. I haven't been as disappointed since Turkey. The name Chile is derived from a Native American word for snow. Oh, awesome. Then break out the snow cones, dude. Chile is also affectionately known as the theme country. What? What are you trying to say, man? <laughs> because it is the narrowest country in South America. Oh. Sit down, and I will teach you all about my native land. Oh, cool, man. All right, but first, can I get chili dog, man? No! Also, that's right, dude. I got bad short-term memory. <laughs> I can't. 
can't believe that we're in the cafe where Neruda wrote my favorite poem, Puedo Escribir. The night wind revolves in the sky and sings. And I, I can write these sadness lines. Um, I, loved I loved her. her. And, and sometimes, sometimes she loved, loved me, me too. too. Forgive me for interrupting, but when I hear the words of Neruda, my soul will not permit silence. I share his passion as well as his name. I am Pablo. I am Tamira. And I am Sean, a very a big friend boy. who's just leaving. Tamira, I would be honored if you would allow me to take you on a tour of local Neruda landmarks. I, I would be honored to, um, be honored to allow, uh, okay. I mean, yes. So what are you doing? You don't even know this guy. Well, Sean, would you just relax? We're not going out anymore, remember? Pablo, I... I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny about me getting a job. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do? I maxed out all of Daddy's credit cards, and getting a job is the only way I can buy Alex those flies he wanted. Tell me again, what is so special about these fishing flies that Ashley Dupree would actually consider getting a job? Well, when Alex thought he was going to get them, he looked like a little boy on Christmas morning. And when he found out he wasn't, he looked really sad. So I just want to make it Christmas morning again. That's really sweet, Ashley. Besides, it's just a temporary job. How bad can it be? Now, stick your hand through the nether regions. And when you reach the gizzards, pull. Nautical life can be punishing on a plumbing system. That's why you need the proper weapons. Here you go. A little to the left. Oh. Nurse Loy always starts off with a deep tissue massage. So I guess a sponge bath is out of the question. What a perfect day. I can't believe we breathed the same air he breathed, walked down the same streets and we were to walk down, ate at the same planet Hollywood he did. Actually, that opened last year. I got to meet great American actor Corey Feldman and his lovable sidekick, Corey Haynes. <laughs> Through nights like this one, I held her in my arms. And I kissed her again and again under the end of the sky. While I am inspired. Until tomorrow, my news. Wow. I miss Muse. Y tu campo de flores bordados, hora cordial feliz. What are you still doing here, dude? We gotta get back to the boat before yeah, curfew. What? what? Too so soon? What? Yes, and what is with these stupid flanks? Dude, it's called being patriotic. You should yeah. try it sometime, okay. Sean. Oh, right. Hey, Jimmy, you were born in the USA, okay? Not Chile. Chile. All right? Which, according to Ramon here, is a land of dry deserts and lush valleys yeah, covering 2,700 miles of the coastline, huh? I think on Ramon? Yeah. yeah! Oh, see? Hello! Oh. Hi. No. Do, do, do. Come here. That's that guy that was working to Mira. Yeah. I got a bad feeling about him. What do you think? I don't know, man. You know, he's got like <clears throat> classically handsome features, stylish dresser. He's got a charismatic aura. I'd probably give him you know, like a nine. Do I? I can write the saddest line. I loved her, and sometimes she loved me too. Forgive me 
I share Nebula's passion for poetry as well as his name. And Pablo. And Pablo. Come with me. I will show you some of the things you need. non-fat double latte to go. Sorry it took so long, but we ran out of non-fat milk, so I had to run over to the galley to get some, but it was no trouble. Where's my mochaccino? Oh, and I only charged you for a single. I want that skin while I'm still young. And of course, I did burn my fingers on that little nozzle thingy. I gotta get the class. No tip again? What is wrong with you people? All right, everyone, listen up. Since y'all don't seem to respond to subtlety, here's the deal. You tip first, get service second. If you don't have the means, I'm not grinding the beans! Uh, may I please have a biscotti? Sorry. Buenos dias. Now, <clears throat> the first European to set his eyes on Chile was Ferdinand Magellan in 1520 as he sailed through the Straits which now, Bear, is <laughs> What are you wearing? Huh? Oh, uh, it's the traditional garb of a, of a Wasso or a Chilean cowboy. And of course, my Scooby-Doo boxes, you know. Listen, Jimmy, I need you. Ah, call me Jaime. It's what all my Chilean friends call me, you know. OK. Jaime, I need your help, OK? Oh, oh. oh. right. I don't get it. Why do I have to tell about Pablo hitting on a girl? Because if I tell her, you're going to think I'm making it up because I'm jealous, OK? Just go. Go. Please. Hey, Tamara. Uh, uh, Tamara, tengo que decirte uh, algo uh, noche de Pablo. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Ramon's got me hooked on Spanish phonics, and I can't. Thanks. What's going on? OK. Um, um, listen. I saw that guy, Pablo, or whatever. He was reciting poetry to some girl the exact same way he was to you. He's a player, you know? He's just looking for girls that have a soft spot for romantic poetry. Sorry. See, I knew the first time I saw that guy, I was like, man, he's. I'm talking about you, Sean. You're trashing Pablo because you're jealous. To me, that's not true. You just can't stand the idea of me being with someone else, so you're trying to ruin it. You know, when we broke up, Sean, and we vowed to be friends, but a friend would not do this. Tamir, I swear. Uh, I'll see you on Can I get my coffee? Oh, sure. Ash, you all right? You look exhausted. I've never seen you work so hard or, well, at all. You must really want that jewelry case for Tiara, huh? Case? Well, that's why you're working, isn't it? Oh, right. Of course. Well, if you want something badly enough, you'll do anything to get it. <laughs> this business doesn't look too good. Oh, it'll pick up. Nothing is going to stop me from making that money. Ashley, did you assault this customer with a biscotti? Maybe. You're fine. But Nigel, he... Ashley, I ordered a decaf, and I think this one's a regular one. I just don't want to be too jittery for my low-impact ultra funk aerobics class. Ash, Ash. Hey, Ramon, buddy. Listen, man, you've given me so much knowledge about your country, I feel like I have to repay you somehow, you know? So... Hi, man. You already showed me how to make those noises with my arm. Oh, no, well, <laughs> That's payment enough. No, no, it's not. Listen, I feel like I have to give you something really special, so allow me to present to you this vat of five long chili con Jimmy, baby. You made that for me? Yeah, well, no. No, actually, it's 12 cans of Hormel, but you know, I opened every can with love. Come on. Come on. Is it possible that your friend has feelings for you? Because I think jealousy may have clouded his vision. Last night, I was at home, dreaming of you. I knew I shouldn't have even brought it up. I, I know that Sean's just trying to make me jealous. I, well, I'm not leaving until tomorrow. And uh, we've seen all of Naruto's landmarks, but I, I wouldn't mind seeing some of the landmarks from your life, Papa. I am going into the Andes to begin mending a heart that will soon be broken. 
Love is short, but forgetting is long. Tonight I can write the saddest lines. I'm afraid this is goodbye. I will never forget you, Pablo. Nor I you. Tamira. Right. Hey, what's up, man? You going fishing? Uh, no. I'm heading back to Santiago. Well, what do you need to ride for? <sighs> and ask myself the same question. Hey, aren't you supposed to be working? Well, in today's troubled economy, downsizing has become a fact. Ah, you were fired, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Are you telling me that they were not charmed by the stately bearing of Miss Southern Teen? For the world, I would like to see world peace, a cure for all diseases, and fat-free chocolate. <laughs> Did you put that down? <laughs> Do you have any idea how much this is worth? Tina, you have to promise not to get overly sentimental about Pablo. I'm not getting overly sentimental. It's just that he, I mean, he whisked me off my feet and, and opened my soul to the possibility of a love that can echo across time. Okay, as long as we're clear on that. Um, T, isn't that Pablo right over there? I am Pablo. It can't be. He, he's in the Andes writing poetry and trying to get over me. Well, you must have had a speed of recovery because uh, I think that's him. Through nights like this one, I held her in my arms. I kissed her again and again under the endless sky. Hey, I was just going to see you. Don't say another word. I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> the Juarez flies? Ashley, how did you? You lost your job and your credit cards are maxed out. Well, I knew how much they meant to you, so I sold my Miss Seventeen tiara to buy them for you. Your tiara? Ashley, that's so sweet. I, uh, I don't know what to say. What's wrong? Aren't those the right ones? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're awesome, but, uh... Then what's wrong? Well, I knew how much the display case meant to you, so I sold my rod and bought it the case. Alex, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> but now you can't use your flies. <laughs> and you can't use the case. I'll, I'll return it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm sure there's something we can do to get our money back. Hi. I'm cleaning up after Hurricane Ashley. What do you want, Sean? Well, I heard what happened and I wanted to say that I'm sorry. Yeah, I bet you are. Okay. And I may not be crazy about the idea of you falling for some other hombre, okay, but... It doesn't mean that I want to see you get hurt, all right? I'm just not used to the fact that you're not mine anymore. I know that's not poetry, but it's from the heart. Well, that's what poetry is, strong. Listen, not all guys are dogs, okay? Some of us are caring, and we're sensitive, and, uh... Well, we got a jealous streak a mile long. I just feel so stupid letting him take advantage of me like that. I just never, I never want that to happen again. Okay. Well, listen, as long as we're making resolutions, I uh, promise I'm going to work on my jealous streak, okay? Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're looking at, huh? <laughs> what? Oh. Well, it's going to take a little bit of time, okay? Yeah. Bienvenidos. You look great in front. And might I say you look dashing in that tuxedo? <laughs> Buenos dias, bienvenidos a all things Chilean. 
Well, how's this we get our stuff back from the pawn shop across the street? Well, in the meantime, how do you feel about dating outside your species? Uh, does this sense your question? 